What's up? My name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix issues with installing this game through the Windows Store. There could be many issues, but I'll go from the most successful solutions to the least successful solutions, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll be able to install it and get playing once again. It's super simple. I'm on a virtual machine here just because it makes recording a bit easier. That's also why I'm running Windows 11 when my main PC is Windows 10. Though the commands and steps in this video will be almost Almost exactly the same, though some settings may be in different locations on Windows 10. So to begin, we'll be completely uninstalling and reinstalling the Windows Storm. This way, it should fix itself and everything should be working again, because this is really the end-all option that seems to fix it for most people. I'll hit Start and type in PowerShell, which will then run as Administrator. Click Yes when prompted for Admin, and inside of here, I'll simply copy and paste the command from the description down below. Get AppX package everything by the name of Windows Store, remove Apex package. Hit enter and wait for this command to run through. When it's done, you can close out of this window and you'll also see that the Windows Store is no longer available on your computer. If it is, clicking on it will do absolutely nothing. Don't panic, we'll be fixing that in just a moment. But for now, you'll need to reboot your computer entirely. Now, all we have to do is reinstall the Windows Store. Hit Start, type in PowerShell once again, and then click Run as Administrator. Now, we'll be copying and pasting the next command from the description down below. Get Apex Package, everything by the name of Windows Store for all users, and then for each one on the list, add them again. Simply reinstall them again, which is Add Apex Package. I'll hit Enter and wait for this command to run through to completion. Upon finishing, I can close out a PowerShell and the Microsoft Store should now be available again to open up. It may take a couple seconds to a couple minutes to actually open the first time around, but this is because it's a fresh reinstall. You may also be prompted to sign in once again, though sometimes not so much. Why is that? Well, because some parts are still left in our computer from before. So now all you have to do is try and re-download that game and see if things are working properly. This is also important if you're trying to download games through the Xbox app instead, because it goes through the the Microsoft Storm. Now, before we get too drastic, it's a good idea to make sure that you signed in on the Xbox app and the Microsoft Store with the exact same account, as this could cause issues. On top of this, if you're trying to install a game to a different drive other than C drive, the one with Windows on it, things could not work properly sometimes. It's a good idea that if you are installing to a different drive, cancel the install or uninstall the game and move it across to your C drive, where we'll then be reinstalling it or re-downloading it. This can be unfortunate for some big games, but there isn't an easier way to do it as far as I understand. That being said, if you're still having issues, you should try downloading the game through the Xbox app if it's available there. More often than not, it is because of the Xbox Game Pass. That's where most people are getting their games. And of course, that's where most issues are coming from because it's free or at least very cheap. Let's assume that it didn't work. What's the next solution? Well, simply signing out and then back in while making sure our Windows time is set correctly. So I'll click my icon in the top right and sign out. If you have the Xbox app installed and open, you can sign out there too if you'd like. I'll hit start and then open up the settings window. Then we'll head across to time and language. This will of course be different on Windows 10. Opening date and time, you'll see this screen here or at least something that looks like it. Current date and time, set time automatically, time zone. Simply make sure that the time zone is set correctly and then click sync now down here. If you'd like, you can also turn off and back on set time automatically, which should also sync the time zone on your computer. Then we can close out of the settings window, head back to the Microsoft Store and sign in once again. Now all you have to do is simply locate the game and try to install it once again. If you're still having issues, what else can we try? Well, hit Control Shift and Escape to bring up the Task Manager, head across to Services, and click Open Services at the very bottom. Inside of here, we'll simply be restarting some Windows Store services to make sure things are working properly. Inside of here, we'll be scrolling all the way down to Windows, where we're looking for Windows Update. Simply right-click and then click Start if it's not running. Otherwise, you can right-click and click Restart. If you don't have Restart, stop it, wait for it to complete, and then click Start right afterwards. It's also a good idea to right-click Properties and make sure that it's set to Automatic rather than Manual. Then clicking anywhere on the list, I'll type MIC to jump to Microsoft, where we'll be looking for Microsoft Store Install Service, this one here. I'll also right-click and click Restart, otherwise you can right-click Stop and or right-click Start. Of course, once again, make sure that it's set to Automatic, so right-click Properties and change Startup Type to Automatic OK. We'll do the same for 
for a program called BITS, Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This one up here. Right click and click start. Of course, that's if it's not running for you. Also, right click properties and set this to automatic. OK, and we're practically done here. Now you can close out of the services window. From here, we'll also make sure that we have the Xbox identity provider installed, meaning that things should work properly and we'll be able to sign in. This is usually an issue that prevents you from signing into Microsoft Store apps and games, though this could be a solution to them not starting or installing either. I'll click at the very top in the Microsoft Store and we'll search for Xbox Identity. But if you don't see it, you'll find a link down in the description below to actually download it. Simply open this link up in any browser and then click Get in the top right, followed by Open if you're prompted. This will open it up directly in your Microsoft Store and all you have to do is click install if you have it available. If you're on Windows 11 and you don't have an install button, it should already be installed. So we can head across to Library, All and look for it here. As you can see, Xbox Identity Provider. If you saw an install button on the previous page, click that, otherwise head here and make sure it's installed. There should be either a cloud button to download it, or if you see this, it's already installed and working. Now you should be able to open up your game and play it as per usual. On top of this, we'll also make sure to reinstall the gaming service. So once again, I'll open up PowerShell, run it as administrator, and I'll copy and paste the command from the description down below. This will uninstall gaming services entirely. Now we'll either restart our computer or simply follow along with the next few steps. If you do follow along with the next step and you're unable to reinstall it, simply restart your computer. So for now, I'm going to restart it. Now I can hold start, press R to bring up the run dialog box. And inside of here, I'll be pasting this Windows Store command. Click OK. The Windows Store should then open up and you should be able to reinstall gaming services. However, if you're not, i.e. you're on Windows 11 and there's no install button, simply head across to library, then all sort by name and look for gaming services. If you don't see an install button here, what else can we do? Well, we can't open it. So you'll need to copy the next command in the description down below to simply reinstall it from the existing packages on your computer. This isn't as good as re-downloading it, which as far as I understand, you can only really do on Windows 10. Anyways, Start PowerShell, I'll then run as administrator and paste the command in here to reinstall gaming services. Awesome. Now, hopefully that should be it and things are working properly once again. What else can we try? Well, we can try and reset the cache completely for the Windows Store and completely reset it back to factory default. This is different to reinstalling it and may have different effects depending on what issue you're currently dealing with. Hold start and press R to bring up this run dialog box. Inside of here, we'll be typing percentage local app data percentage and hitting enter to open up a folder here. We'll then navigate into packages and inside of here we'll look for microsoft.windowsstore. Then we'll open this up as well, open up local cache and we'll select everything in here, then press delete. And then once it's deleted, let's get to resetting the app. So I'm open up the settings menu, head into apps on the side, apps and features. And in here we'll be searching for the storm. Click the three dots next to it, advanced options and we'll scroll down to here. Click repair, wait for this to run through to completion, and then we'll click reset, reset, and wait for this to run through as well. Now you could try and boot it up here, but on top of the reset that comes here for just the app, there is a specific reset designed for the Windows Store, and it can help quite a bit. Hit start, type in WSRESET, WS reset, and then open it up when you see it. If you don't see a green icon that you can click on, Hold start, press R, and inside of here, run WSRESET, WS reset. This window will then open up depending on how you opened it up. See Windows System 32 WS reset.exe. This will go ahead and reset the Windows Store app all the way back to the default, basically. And when it opens up, you should be asked to sign in, allowing you to fix and download whatever game you tried to download before, whether it's the one in this video or another game, etc. etc. So if you haven't already, update your graphics card drivers which may help or may not help. It's always a good idea to do. And of course, Windows. Hit start, open up settings, head across to Windows update and simply click check for updates. If you see any optional updates, you can install them after updating Windows. If things still aren't working, it's a good idea to scan your system to make sure nothing's gone wrong. Hit start, type in CMD or terminal 
if you're on Windows 11 and then run it as administrator. Inside of here, we'll be entering two commands. The first one being SFC slash scan now. And upon hitting enter, it'll run through all of the Windows files on your computer, making sure things are working properly. And this of course can take some time to complete. I'll hit control C to cancel this and I'll run the next command, which is DISM online cleanup image restore health. This will go through our Windows image, repairing any issues that it finds. Once again, this will take some time to complete and if it finds any issues, it should try and fix them. Note that if you click the screen and highlight text like this, the progress will pause. So just right click to unhighlight text and progress should then continue. For now, I'll be canceling out of this as well as it'll take some time to finish. I'll just do that by closing the window. And that should be about it. At this point, you should be able to install that game and get it working properly. It's super simple, though of course, very long winded as there's many different steps that we've tried. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.